and shalom, my friends. You are tuned in to Healing Stream TV and Wisdom Nuggets with Dr. C. We thank you for tuning in and subscribing to this channel and sharing it with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and all the social media out there. We want you guys to like us on Facebook. There are three sites, Dr. Chandra S. Iyama, I-A-M-A International, as well as Soul Therapy Studios. Again, that's Dr. Chandra S. Iyama International and Soul Therapy Studios. Go there and like those pages and stay current to all the things that are happening in Dr. Chandra's life. As well as we have a new mailing address. That address is P.O. Box. 2304 Alpharetta, Georgia 30023. I made a mistake on the last video. So it's P.O. Box 2304 Alpharetta, Georgia 30023. And as always, we invite you to go to our websites. It's www.drshandras.com. We also have www.iamainternational.org. We are always in the process of expanding and making things better for humanity. Amen. Again, peace and love always until next time. And thank you for tuning in to Healing Stream TV and Wisdom Nuggets with Dr. C. Bye-bye. Hey, my friends, it is Chandra, a.k.a. Dr. C, your friend in holistic wellness, spirit, soul, and body. How is everyone doing on this fabulous day that our creator God has made? I know you guys looking at my little head thingy here, but it's my necklace. And I was trying to wrap it around like three times. And it kind of like just stopped there. And I looked in the mirror and I'm like, hmm, that's kind of cute. So I just decided to stay. <laughs> let it stay anyway is everyone doing okay I have some more to share with you some more wisdom nuggets to share with you guys today you see I got my camouflage on you know in the military our service men and women they wear camouflage where are we going with this teaching today camouflage interesting why camouflage you know i'm gonna do a little bit more research on that because i didn't come to talk about that today however it all ties into war warfare all of that so i was skimming through one of my books or my word or something and this came caught my attention i'm gonna read a little bit i'm gonna read a little bit for you guys today is that all right amen i'm trying not to keep these videos too short because i know some of us have short attention spans yeah so we don't want to bore you with a lot of information all at once so ezekiel 28 i just thought this was really interesting and it kind of piqued my interest to study further and i am going to study further and i'm going to share that with you but i just wanted to read it for your hearing it's ezekiel 28 verses 13 i'm just going to do 13 i think thou hast been and before i do that i don't know if you guys can hear it but i have a christmas cd in the background it's i think it's motown christmas don't ask me why, guys. Just go with the flow. I'm just feeling celebratory, kind of festive. and You know, you see the balloons. Can you see the balloons? They're kind of deflating now, but the balloons in the background. And I just felt like hearing some Christmas music. So there it is. Motown Christmas. Okay. 
Ezekiel 28 and verse 13 says, Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Oh, that's what it was. Because you know I'm talking about the authentic life cuisine. Back to Eden, where we eat mostly fruits and veggies and things of that nature. And when I read this, I'm like, oh, wow, that is definitely going to be a part of authentic life cuisine. Thou hast been, I'm reading Ezekiel 28, verse 13. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Mm, listen to this. Every precious stone was thy covering, the sardius, topaz, and the diamond, the beryl, the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, the gold, stones, the gold, the workmanship of thy tabrets, and of thy pipes was prepared in thee, in the day that thou was created. You know, I got one more, verse 14. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth. This is personal, guys. And I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Has anybody been in the fire of affliction, of persecution lately? Well, fire does many things. So, I don't think I'm going to go on anymore, but you guys need to read that. Ezekiel 28, verse 13 and 14. There's so much there, and I'm going to come back and share a little bit more, but this is very personal for me. Yeah. Eden, the garden of God, and in that Eden was every stone that you can think of. It was in Eden. So can you guys imagine if we just embrace this lifestyle and trust me, I'm talking to me because I do get sidetracked sometimes. Not sidetracked, but I guess it's temptation or urges to not stay focused on this back to Eden diet. Not a diet, it's a lifestyle. So keep me in your prayers. <laughs> anyway. Can you imagine if we all just embrace this diet? And not diet, I meant lifestyle. If we just embrace this lifestyle, Eden is the garden of God. God is trying to get his people back to Eden. Hear me, hear God. If you would just embrace it, it would change your life. It would change your mind. It would change your body. It would change everything about you. I'm going to come back and share some more about that. But I just wanted to highlight that verse. And then I wanted to read war. Talking about war. That's why I'm in my gear here. You know, we are in a perpetual, continual war and a lot of people I don't think they are aware of this I really don't think people are aware of what really is going on in the heavenlies and you really wouldn't know if you are not in tuned with God not saying oh you think you're perfect no trust he ain't perfect honey I'm striving just like you. Now, I may have a little bit of higher standards than some. But it is what it is. Joseph had higher standards. Daniel had higher standards. Look where he got him. Them. So, I'm looking for, in this new book, not new, but I have several books. This one is called Signs and Symbols. 
an illustrated guide to their origins and meanings. So I grabbed this little guy to look up war and some symbolism regarding war because this is something yet again that is a part of my lifestyle. Remember we talked about the root chakra and the color being red. You guys, this is a lot of information and some of it can seem foreign to you, but this is why going back to Eden is important because you need to understand. You need to know what's going on and not be in the dark. Okay, I'm looking for something here. There it is. It doesn't have very much information in this book, so I have another book. But it says, we're talking about colors. I looked up war and it gave me, it, it, it gave me colors. Okay, so red, I should have had on something red then. Well, camouflage is a good thing. Well, I got a little bit of red here and I think a little bit of red on these frames. But anyway, war, it says red is the color of war. Mars, the red planet, is named after the Roman god of war, but has borne the name of other martial deities in other cultures. The Babylonians called it Ner Nergal and the ancient Greek star of Aries. Okay, so when I read this about red is the color of war and then mars the red planet i thought about that movie john carter if you have not seen john carter go and see john carter barson <laughs> john carter from earth and the princess was from mars so it was a plot for the opposing team to marry the princess so that they can have control of Mars. Or, what is, I can't really remember everything, but just go and watch that movie. So basically, Mars, the red planet, this, the whole movie was about a war. And this is what we live, guys. You don't understand the undercurrents that is going on in your life. You must dive deeper into the spirit realm. And how do you do this? You do this by modifying your lifestyle, people. You have to begin to shed the physical, shed all of the stuff and the layers that we pay so much attention to that really does not matter. And then once you shed that, you begin to pull back the veil of the spirit world. Mm. You pull back the veil so that you can see the full truth. Because some people are walking around like, you know, I wish I had something different, but this is the only thing I have. Some people are walking around like this. You know, you can see a little through here. This is actually good because you can see a little through it, but you can see a whole lot when it's removed. How did they be condo the Vosaya? Mmm. And did they be salo the basis? Excuse me, people of God. But God is really, really trying to get the people that he has created to enjoy this world to wake up. <laughs> I'm here. It's like the Adamic nature. We got to shed. Yeah, we have to dive deeper into the spirit realm. And we do that by modifying our lifestyle. How do we do that? Well, I believe you start with what you're ingesting and digesting. And so authentic life cuisine is going to be key 
and highlight it during this time because I'm not just telling you something that I'm not walking in. Eight years now, and it's not easy. It has not been easy, mainly for me. I don't know about you, but for me, it's, um, if you cannot really afford some of the things, you have to kind of modify based on your, your lifestyle. And so that has been my challenge. But we're in a new season now and things are abundant and things are moving forward and we are walking in purpose in the fullness of purpose and so not saying we're gonna just go crazy but we're gonna do things in the spirit of excellence in the way that it should have been done amen that's a nugget okay now i'm gonna go to my prophet's dictionary and I looked for war in there, but there was no war. There was just warfare, which is basically the same thing. So I'm going to read that definition. It's called, it says, hostile or competitive battle between enemies or rivals where something of value is at stake or may be lost. The Greek term for it is stratia almost like strategy, hmm. which defines military service. Mm -hmm. Military service and an apostolic career, mm. as well as the warfare itself. Included in this meaning are the words expedition and campaign. Lastly, its biblical meanings add the discharge of one's apostolic duties. And it gives you so many scriptures I'm not going to give to you guys. But you just need to know that we are in war constantly. There's another movie that just came to mind, Immortals. How... <laughs> constant battle so i'm just going to tell you guys to watch those movies because sometimes a visual is, is easier to understand i know for me i'm a visual learner so visual visual is easier to understand but i'm also what is the other one i can't remember but anyway <clears throat> uh you watch the movie that's just like one night with the king Immortals and John Carter. Those are three movies I'm going to tell you guys to go out and watch. And most of them you can find in the library so you don't have to buy anything. Amen? Well, I think I'm going to cut this one short. But remember that we are in a war. I never meant to start a war. <laughs> Y'all know Margo on Love and Hip Hop? Yeah, I kind of like that song. Yeah, I do. Never meant to start a war. But we are, you know, some people think God is a God of peace. He is. However, he is a God of war as well. I didn't come to give you peace, he says in the scripture. Warfare. So, and you know what else? There's a lot of songs out there. Because you know I'm in the middle of rehearsing for a project. This is going to be so yummy, guys. I can't wait to share it with you. But you're going to have a mixture of everything because I'm an old country girl, but I also can jazz it up and make it neo soul and reggae and all of that good stuff. But I never meant to start a war, and he's a battle axe in the time of war. <laughs> I plead, I plead the blood, and there is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of the Lamb. Break every chain, break every chain, 
break every chain. All right, guys, I will be back. You sit tight to Healing Stream TV and Wiz Nuggets with Dr. C. And we'll be right back. You stay plugged in. I never meant to start a war.